Room is on the top floor. It's perfect. I love it. If I could live any place and any time, I'd live here in London in the 60s. I'm Edgar Wright. I'm the director of Last Night in Soho. Dolby Cinema means a lot to me because I am evangelical in my belief that there's no better way to see a movie than on the big screen. To be transported to another place is everything. Seeing it large and loud with the best possible specs is, was and will always be the best way to enjoy a movie. And with The Last Night in Soho, I wanted people to have the best chance of experiencing it as we intended for it to be seen and heard on a big screen, in the dark, in the company of strangers. And I really can't wait for audiences to see Last Night in Soho in Dolby Cinema because we put an enormous amount of work into this version. I know what you did. I've done a lot of things. You can have to be more specific, love. We made a very deliberate choice to reflect how Ellie's state of mind is with regards to what Dolby Atmos offers in terms of like the placement of sound and sound design. A good example of this is for the first 24 minutes of the film or so, the sound mix is only at the front of the theatre, at the screen, and there's no surround information happening at all. But then as soon as she enters 1960s Soho, then the mix starts to bloom out to an extreme with the Atmos format. So the audience gets the sense of wonder that she's feeling. And this is really exaggerated because we haven't used anything surrounding us up until that point. Do you believe in ghosts? she loses her sense of perspective of what's real or not. We did some treatment on specific characters' voices, both with like delay effects and also the placement in Atmos. And really the overall effect is about enveloping the audience. So we want to use all the tools that Dolby gives us to make the audience feel completely drawn into the story. And I want the audience to go down the rabbit hole with the lead character as well. I have to stop him. Grading in Dolby Vision with its higher dynamic range allows us to play with the differences between the present and the past that Eloise finds herself in. And with that range, you know, we can have these extreme saturation levels of the red and blue lights and the neon lights of the 60s that we haven't seen in cinemas before this technology was invented. It's sort of the visual equivalent of going from mono to 5.1 and it gave us so many more looks to explore and play with. Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos's cinematic toolkit make for a more immersive experience for the audience. I guess for Eloise, this other world is more real than anything she's felt before, and once she has a taste of that, she can't resist going back. No.